All right, insiders. I'm here at the Washington Association of Realtors Conference. Uh, we have a booth that we're doing here. Jessica's got my iPhone, and this, so we're doing this on the iPhone. So if there's any problems, we're going to bla blame it on Apple. Um, anyway, so here's our booth, and we wanted to still do our Monday download, but we'll let you see what we've got going here. Here we go. Here's our, our artistic video. Okay, so we're going to keep it short today because we're just on a, a short break between when uh, people are going to be coming through. But uh, two things I want to do in this video. First, I want to give a shout out to Aaron Tilbury, the hammer. Um, last week we had a file that the bank closed inadvertently. Uh, Aaron called in to check status because the negotiator had received all the documentation that she asked for and he was checking status and, she, and the customer service said, oh, that file was closed on Monday. And uh, so Aaron uh, got on his horse and spent the next two hours busting his bottom to get that thing reopened. And uh, way to go, Aaron, because he did get it reopened and they are going to get, the, uh, get the file back where it needs to be. So things are going to be moving forward well. Uh, also, if it's hard for you to hear me, I apologize because it is kind of noisy in here. The next thing that I need to talk to you about is the uh, changes that Fannie Mae has made in their short sale process. So if you have a short sale that is a Fannie Mae investor, so Fannie Mae is who owns the note on that short sale, different process for you. In the past, it's gone to the bank. The bank has kind of done their whole packaging thing, sent it off to Fannie Mae after they've basically given us an initial approval, sent it to Fannie Mae for review. Fannie Mae takes two or three weeks, does their own review, sends it back, and then we either have a counter or uh, a decline or an approval. Well, here's the change. The change is that Fannie Mae wants to see everything up front. So we're going to send it into the bank. The bank's going to acknowledge receipt of it. But then they're going to package it and send it off to Fannie Mae, and it's going to sit there for two or three weeks. Ultimately, it's going to be a faster process, potentially at the back end. But what that means to you and your sellers is that it's going to be a two or three week wait period from the time that we get it to the bank before we have any news. I mean, it's just going to be sitting on in Fannie Mae's court for them to do what they need to do. The good side is, is that once it comes back from Fannie Mae, they'll have already looked at the numbers, they'll already have, have looked at the items, and all of this is going to happen before they even order their BPO. So don't expect a BPO on a Fannie Mae file to happen very quickly. So the cool thing is, is once they order the BPO, as long as the numbers on the BPO come back, it's going to be approved. So that will shorten the processing time at the bank, and they tend to be the longest and the most broken in that process. So um, that's the good news. The most important thing that you can get out of this is positioning the buyers and sellers correctly that if it's a Fannie Mae backed loan that it's going to take two to three weeks before we hear any news on this file before a BPO is ordered or any of that stuff. So just be prepared for that. It's important that everybody's prepared. So that's all I have for today. I know it was short and, and quick to the point but um, I have people that are getting ready to come to my booth so I probably should get back to work. So uh, anyway, thanks everybody. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.